What do you think about Vader here at 97 getting a title shot? I mean, at Royal Rumble 97, Vader, with the help of Paul Bearer, did beat Undertaker. But do you like him getting a title shot here? Because it didn't seem like it was like a huge buildup for Vader getting a world title shot. It seemed like he was almost getting like de-pushed for a while. Yeah, you know, bro, I, I, I you know, I do a show with Al Snow, um, and we did it yesterday. And Al was talking a little bit about, bro, that, you know, the agents – were constantly trying to change Vader style. That they, they would not let him be the Vader that came from Japan and the Vader that came from a WCW. And they were constantly trying to change him. He became very confused. It was very, very difficult for him. He probably had a hard time doing what they wanted because he had been doing what he was doing for so many years and that's that's probably bro where um the disconnect came because I'll I'll be the first one to say bro he never got over to the heights that he should have got over in the WWE and I'm not necessarily blaming him for that I totally agree because right after he leaves WWE, he goes back to Japan, wrestles for all Japan and Noah, and he's awesome again. So it's like what the hell happened in yeah. WWF? Yeah. Right. Yep. Very yep. weird. Yeah, yep. he should have been Probably world champion. I know Michael's probably held that back a little bit, but he should have been more than what he was in WWF. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Yep. 